Alright. Review. Wow. So, let me do this since we're recording and I got him naked. Alright. So, like I said, this is being discontinued. I believe the body is even being discontinued. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, right away, first things you notice is he's got a very long neck. I mean, like, I don't even think real people have necks that long. It's a very long neck. I don't believe any of my dolls have necks that long, like a giraffe neck. Look how long that neck is. Um, long neck, but it's not very disproportionate. I mean, it's not like he looks like an alien or anything. Um, head can do pretty good up, down. Sides are good, yeah. Side, up, down. as far down as he goes. You see that? Uh, head cap is magnets. And it looks like one of the magnets got stuck. Great. I might have to glue that back in. Um, with the doll zone since 2005 inside, so you know that it's legit. S hook, eyes, the usual inside head cap kind of stuff. Um, nothing too remarkable there. Except for the fact that this magnet is now, I gotta redo that. Okay. Head cap is not, um, it's a little bit bigger than his skull. Like, there's like this overlap, like a lip here on uh, around the front and back. It's kind of, so it's not like a smooth head cap. I don't know if they just sand, didn't sand this down good enough, but it's not too big a deal. That's gonna be hidden by a wig, so no big deal there. Um, Let's move down to the shoulders. He's got a little shoulder cap in here and the shoulder blade. So you can see the little shoulder cap. And he's got pretty good movement on the shoulder. Although he doesn't want to hold his arm there. Pretty good movement. Um, he doesn't like hold his arm up. It seems like it's a little too heavy for it to like hold hold in this position very good. So I think that would be fixed with some suading, hot glue suading or whatever have you. Um, like I like how Lear, my Dika doll, has like a like notches in that shoulder cap, and it holds it can hold that arm in place. But because it's all smooth, it's just a smooth joint in there. It doesn't it doesn't really do that so well. Here. Um, now move on to the elbow. It's the normal peanut joint, so it's double jointed. So you go one move and two moves. So you can get this sort of straight up kind of elbow move. Um, you can see. And the wrist is a separate ball joint than the hand. They come apart. And there's a little, let me hold on. So the S hook is in the hand. Whoosh. S hook is inside of the hand, inside the ball. Um, so the, the elastic goes through this, this wrist right here, the ball here and into the S hook, into the hand. And there's like two little um, notches inside the hand that fit into the joint of the ball to keep the, the hand and wrist locked together. Um, he has that on his feet too, which I think is interesting. I never really noticed that on my other dolls. I don't know if they all have it, I just never noticed, so it's kind of interesting. But as you can see, wrist is fully, fully fluid. Very, very good movement in this wrist, actually. I'm really, this is really nice. Some of my other dolls are just a little loose on that, so it's kind of nice how he's got really good movement there. The hands are really nice, sculpted. Really nice fingernails, kind of got a little bit of a, of a movement to them, so that it's not just like a flat hand. Um, 
kind of a natural kind of curl to the fingers. Um, he has it on both sides. Both hands are like that. Um, obviously, the jointing is the same on the other side as well. He's got a joint here in the torso. It allows him to kind of lean really far. Whoa. Really, really, really far. It's kind of heavy, so I don't think he'd stand up on his own if he did that. Um, forward is just kind of there. <laughs> it looks kind of like a zombie. Um, back is here. Oh, he's being abducted by aliens. Oh. Kind of, kind of reminds me of the Sailor Moon transformation. I don't know why. That's funny. So really good movement in that joint. Not all of my guys have joints in their torsos because I just I don't know. Somehow I don't see it's just totally not. That's my son grunting in the background. <laughs> He's so cute. You got this joint on the hips. A similar movement as the torso or the chest. Not really significant. I guess you could kind of lean him kind of forward and lock him back. Woo! This is fully back. What a stretch. Head up. Now I feel like he's definitely doing the Sailor Moon transformation. Now I don't feel confident trying to stand him in that kind of a position. I don't think he would hold very well because the, the weight would be all up here. So I think the whole body would just topple back. Um, but there you go, it can be done maybe in a sitting position or with a, with a holder. <laughs> um, there is the mobility joint in the hip. It just kind of gives the, the extra, extra swivel, you know, first position, ballet style. Um, that's pretty much all this does. Knee is double jointed. Wow. Um, so there you go. Oh, more fancy. <laughs> this is like the sexiest doll I've owned. As far as like for guys, he's very like fluid. Like look at that pose. Like. <laughs> all right, Sailor Moon. Um, so double jointed knee. You can see the back here. The peanuts. Um, pretty good f movement. He can do traditional Japanese tea ceremony <laughs> if you want. Um, okay. Nothing too remarkable there. And the ankle is like the hands. The ankle joint is a ball that locks into the foot, um, and the S hook is in the f is in the actual foot. Um, but it's got pretty good movement. You don't want it to go a lot to the side to the side too much because um, that means that he'll be wobbly when he's standing. So forward and back is pretty good. That's about all you really need. And once you put shoes on these dolls, those those feet don't move anyways. So it's kind of kind of almost pointless at some degree. Um, so that's him. You can see like all the little muscle details. His back is very nicely sculpted. Um, it's got a lot of details here with the shoulder blades. Um, it's got the two little notches on the, on the bum. Um, even some sculpting here with the muscles in the back of his legs. It's really nice, nicely done. He's very thin, kind of a thinner kind of doll. Um, I like to blush uh, his body. I like blushing my doll's bodies because I feel like it really brings out the sculpts. Um, I like to accent all of the fine details and shadows and stuff in the muscles and the structure of the dolls. Personally, because uh, like he's got some muscles in his arms that you can't really tell. Uh, it's not real obvious, so I'd like to try to bring that out a bit. And like I said, I want to try to get him blushed um, into like a kind of like a fantasy fiery shimmer because he is a phoenix. So, so there's the doll's own chin. Uh, I think it's the double jointed 
It's a 70 centimeter boy body. I don't know if it's like boy one, boy two, I don't really remember. And I that's him. Haha, -ha, awesome. The little one, I don't know if you guys want a review of her or not. She's a limited edition doll, so I'm not really sure that it's single jointed, so there's not like the extra joints. And it's just a tiny little little body. It's just got the one joint in the torso, which is interesting. So it's got two joints in the torso and it's got little elbows joints the head is really loose and knee joints and ankle joints on the foot and um, her foot is a solid piece it's not like got the ball in the ankle so that's her and she's about the size of my Momo so they're gonna be friends my little fairy and he stands. Yay! He stands on his own. Really good. Really solid there. No worries about that. Surprisingly. Oh, check it out, guys. He can stand in that crazy position. Look at that! That's so awesome. I don't know when I would ever like need this position. But it's really cool to know that he can hold this pose. <laughs> He's ever abducted by aliens. Or having a magical girl sequence where he's changing into Sailor Moon. <laughs> They're really solid, solid ankles. All right, let's see about this little guy because I feel like with her head being so loose. that her arms are holding her up. So, let's tuck those arms in. No, nope, there you go. So she can stand on her own, a little flower fairy. And now you can kind of see up close a little bit better some of the, look how small she is, those feet. And the details, little flower, little face, and he's standing. Let's see his face. He's very handsome. I gotta change his eyes and fix him up. But there you go. Here we are. Welcome to the family.